Hi, I'm Patty Kim. Whether you're trying to stay warm in the deep freeze of winter or stay cool when it's absolutely boiling outside in summer, heating and cooling your home offers you some of the best and biggest opportunities to cut down on energy waste and save yourself some money. But it does require a couple of key things. Running your cooling and heating systems efficiently and making sure that your home is properly insulated from the outside elements. Here's how you do it. Your house's heating and cooling systems can add up to 45% of your utility bill and have a tremendous impact on the environment. A good place to start improving is right here with the brain of the system, the thermostat. Setting the temperature lower in winter will help save you energy. In fact, about 3% less energy for every single degree you drop. Likewise, in summer, raising the thermostat will also help save you energy. And don't forget, this is just as important, change those furnace filters monthly. Keeping the home comfy isn't all about setting the temperature. The outside elements may be creeping in without you even knowing it. About a third of outside air enters through floors, walls, and ceilings. Small cracks and joints allow cold air in during winter and air-conditioned air out in summers. To cut down on wasted energy, seal exposed air paths around plumbing, electrical wiring, and ducting that traverse walls with caulk or foam. Now you'll want to make sure you pay extra special attention to areas that separate the exterior from the interior, i.e. doors. Doors are a natural culprit. Front doors, doors that open to the garage, they're a major source of heat loss for your home. Now to avoid that, ensure the tightest seal possible around your doorway. Check and see what your weather stripping looks like. If you don't have any, you definitely want to add some stripping. And if you do, check for wear and tear and at the very least, replace the worn out sections. And closing doors to unused rooms is also a helpful thing because it helps reduce the amount of space you have to heat and cool. That fireplace that keeps your living room cozy in winter can let out up to 8% of your home's warm or cool air. Make sure the dampers are closed when not in use. It's great to have the sunlight streaming in and the beautiful views that large windows can offer you, but this is an area where you can lose a significant amount of energy. But you can minimize heat loss by up to 50% simply by installing storm shutters over your windows. Closing curtains and window shades at night will help keep the warmth in during the colder months, while closing them during the day and summer will reflect the sun's rays and keep things cool. And if you're renovating, installing new windows with the Energy Star label, that'll reduce your heating and cooling costs by at least 15%. The key to having uniform temperatures in the house? Good insulation. The fact of the matter is most houses aren't insulated well enough for their climate. That's especially true if your house was built before 1980. Adding more insulation to your crawl space or attic can create energy savings year round. There are lots of choices when it comes to insulation, but recycled cotton, cellulose, and soybean foam earn high marks for their eco-friendliness. We've offered you a few tips today to help make your home more comfortable and efficient. But that said, every home is unique. To get the best results for your home, call your local utility company and schedule an energy audit. Changes that you make today will go a long, long way towards saving you money and the planet. That's it for now. I'm Patty Kim. We'll see you next time.